Looking back to Yeovil, the weekend just gone, a disappointing performance and a disappointing result. Yeah, it was really disappointing because we went in quite positive after the performances we had in the games before, but on the day, Yeovil were just a much better team than us when it came to it. Um, I did have a few chances and it might have been a different game if I had a tick in them, but when they got into their flow, they were we couldn't get near them, to be honest. So we just need to pick ourselves up and hopefully tick take what it, take the positives from the game and move into the next one. And that is one positive, the fact that we've got this game against Watford so soon after and an opportunity to bounce back. Yeah, that's it. At least it's only it's there's not a little break in between the Oval game and this one. It's straight into it's a straight into training tonight, try and make the wrongs right. Um, and then hopefully on Sunday come out and be more back to how we've been playing all season. Um, because Sunday was a bit of a mishap. And what for the team we've not played yet, and although they're at the bottom of the league, they've beaten teams like Everton and Oxford, so they'll be a tough test for us. Yeah, definitely. Um, in this league, anyway, everybody's so equal. Uh, doesn't matter where you're at on the table. Any day, anyone can beat anyone, so we don't underestimate anyone or anything like that. So we look forward to the test again and hope that we can hope that we can get the three points from the game. But we know it's going to be a lot. It's going to be harder than. Just saying it. And obviously three points is the main thing now as we look to keep that place in the top four. Yeah, that's it. At the end of the season we'd love to be sitting in the top four, so we need to be picking up points wherever we can and every game's an opportunity, so hopefully this weekend we can get the three points.